What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of my uh, model breakdown here for Osmo.com. This, of course, you can download all of this information onto your own Excel if you're an Osmo.com Plus member. And trust me, there's a wealth of information here. And I try and add things every week to make it better or to try and find uh, find the information a little quicker. So I'm actually really excited this week um, to showcase uh, a bit of my additions, and hopefully they they work. Uh, you know, I'm not terribly technically advanced. That was kind of a play on words there. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to work uh, through and through. So if you have problems getting to what I talk about today, message me um, and I'll try and figure it out with you or find somebody that uh, can help you out. So let us go right into my model here. And uh, I'm going to just do a very quick run through just in case this is your first time seeing this video. So this is the main page of my model called full model. It just shows every single thing that the bottom sheets all track. So I'm just going to go quickly across. Obviously, the first part is OWGR, Official World Golf Ranking, and then my model rank. And then this MYOM stands for Make Your Own Model Rank. We'll get to that in a second. Of course, across, salaries, odds, ownership. Um, and then this here is Strokes Gained. Uh, sorry, I got to merge and center that back so that everybody can see it here. My apologies. Okay. Um, this obviously uh, just shows their strokes gained uh, rank for the year um, in all of the different categories. And of course, 2019 as well. Here's some other statistical measures. This is the uh, four, seven, three, six, uh, wh whichever, it, it, just the amount of weeks um, that I'm looking at for strokes gained. There's also, again, this is just base information. The more important stuff I'll show you in the bottom sheets. Um, that, that's where you want to find it. Appro approach proximity, of course, recent form. There is no course history this week. Normally you'd see it. Uh, and then DraftKings points. So just a quick run through. Again, all of this information you see here is gonna have each individual sheet. So if you wanna just focus on DraftKings points or whatever have you, you'll be able to find it. So let's go into the Strokes Gained dashboard. I have renamed the Strokes Gained dashboard. So what I've added in here is obviously if you've used my model before or you've seen it before, I put in uh, there four in seven weeks. 2019, 2018 average, and the graph showing their differences um, versus each other. So that, uh, of course, we knew about. What I've added in, though, I've actually added in their actual strokes gained per event. A lot of people have been asking me about that, um, being able to see it, uh, being able to go in and dive into their own information. So I added that in. Now, again, this is how you choose the guy. This is where I guess I, I, I want to make sure you have to download it to Excel. I don't believe you'll be able to do it right through the awesomeo.com webpage. If you can, great. Um, but I believe you have to download it. Uh, at least when I tried, you did. So obviously, you just click in uh, box A3. You click somebody else. Uh, let's go look at Zach Sutra. Now, again, with Zach, what, we don't have a ton of information. He only has four starts on the PGA Tour, but you can see how he got to the, the start there. What I've added in here though is a max and a min. So what I really like about this is it's going to show golfers that, you know, I'm, I know, for example, because I've already done this a few times myself uh, and looked through it. Martin Laird has in minimum over his last eight weeks lost 0.18 total. So that's the lowest he's lost total strokes gained. So that's going to put him right at the cut line almost every single week that he plays over these last eight weeks. And for a guy that's priced 7,500 in this field, that's somebody I would look to target. So that's how I would use this information. I would go and see there's really not a lot of red on the board, just a bad ball striking week at Charles Schwab, which he made up for with his putting it around the green. So really good tool. Uh, I, I Again, I hope this works um, through and through. If it, if it doesn't and you're not able to pick your guy, just contact me and, uh, and I will look to uh, try and solve uh, the issue for you. But I haven't had any issues uh, quite yet. So Great tool, you know, just to go in and see where the players are, where they stand, if they've had shine, signs of form in the last four to eight weeks. These two categories down here, the max four weeks and the max eight weeks, that's going to tell us. So that's really good. That can showcase some form. Players may be coming into form. Um, you know, another guy like Sam Burns, uh, obviously, uh, out of the last four weeks, you like to see stuff like that. So, um I, I hopefully you guys like the additions that I put in. Um, I, I think it should be very useful. It's very been very useful for me for, for the very beginning. So we'll go back to the model here and I'll just go over uh, the quick uh, top five. We'll give a little quick. So no surprise, obviously, um, to see uh, 
Woodland, Matsuyama, Rivi, Johnson all up there. Obviously, again, the model rank, let's go into the make your own model for a second. Okay. The model rank is what I have the percentages in the actual. So the actual model is the one on the left column. The make your own column is the right. So DJ hasn't been playing that good recently. So it's no surprise that in the model, which doesn't take odds or OWGR into as high of an account, um, showcases Woodland and Matsuyama as better. Obviously, when we go to the make your own model, which I can show you, I've done 55% of the rating I want to have as odds. Obviously, DJ is far and away the odds favorite, so he goes up to number one. Anyways, Woodland, Matsuyama, Reeve, Reeve Fowler all round out the top five in both. Uh, looks like the top value according to uh, the first model, at least. So I'm looking at a below 8,000 guy. It's going to be Byun Han on. That's no surprise there. And then Nick Watney and Corey Connors also showing up. Uh, and we'll go quickly into the make your own model for the top guys over 7K. Again, Ben Han and Vaughn Taylor. So should give you guys a pretty good uh, indication. Again, if you want to see all of this information downloaded on your own, we give the ability to do that. Uh, on Osmo.com to become an Osmo.com Plus member. So again, use promo code of the three ball one will work if you watch my three ball videos uh, so we know it's it's coming from this YouTube channel, of course. And if, uh, I thank you for your support. Feel free, any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and leave it here. Find me on Twitter um, or of course the Slack chat uh, if you are an Osmo uh, Plus member. Thanks uh, everybody for joining today and we'll be back uh, for the next edition of the Chalk Report.